Pete Marino was unsettled as he looked around the studio apartment, trying to read its personality and mood, trying to intuit what it had to tell him. Scenes were like dead people. They had a lot to say if you understood their silent language. And what bothered him right away was that Tony Darian's laptop and cell phone were gone, their chargers still plugged into the wall. What continued to nag at him was that there was nothing else that seemed to be missing or disturbed. The police by now of the opinion that her apartment had nothing to do with her murder. Yet he sensed someone had been in here. He didn't know why he sensed it. One of those feelings he got at the back of his neck, as if something was watching him or trying to get his attention and he couldn't see what it was. Marino stepped back out into the hallway, where a uniformed NYPD cop was babysitting the apartment, no one allowed to go in unless Jamie Berger said so. She wanted the apartment sealed until she was satisfied she needed nothing more from it. Had been adamant on the phone with Marino, but also talking out of both sides of her mouth. Don't get too hung up on her apartment and treat it like the crime scene. Well, which was it? Marino had been around the block too many times to pay much attention to anyone, including his boss. He did his own thing. As far as he was concerned, Tony Darian's apartment was a scene, and he was going to turn it inside out. Tell you what, Marino said to the cop outside the door, his last name Melnick. Maybe give Bonell a call. I need to talk to her about the missing laptop, the cell phone. Make sure she didn't take them. Bunnell was the NYPD case investigator who'd already been through the apartment earlier today with the crime scene unit. What? You don't got a phone? Melnick was leaning against the wall in the dimly lit hallway, a folding chair nearby at the top of the stairs. When Marino left, Melnick would move the chair back inside the apartment and sit until he needed a bathroom break or his replacement showed up for midnight shift. A fucking lousy job. Somebody had to do it. You're so busy, Marino said to him. Just because I'm hanging around with my thumb up my ass doesn't mean I'm not busy. I'm busy thinking. Tapping his gelled black hair. A short guy built like a bullet. I'll track her down, but like I was telling you, when I got here, the guy I relieved talked my ear off about it, about what the crime scene guys were saying. Like, where's her phone? Where's her laptop? But they don't think someone came in here and took them. No evidence of that. I think it's pretty fucking obvious what happened to her. Why do people still jog in the park at night, especially females? Go figure. 